Hey, Homestead Prepper. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to move uh, this shipping container and all my shipping containers in the future. I hope uh, the wood roller method is not working for me. You can see how tore up the ground is. That's from my tractor and it's muddy back here. It used to dry out and the wood rollers would work fine. What happens is they sink in the ground and you're dragging against that mud and it, it just, uh, you can't you can't pull against it. Well, I should say, well, my tractor won't pull it out. So someone suggested using metal down here and it would have a low friction coefficient and metal on metal but uh, that's just going to sink in the ground too so and you can see over here uh, I mean my tractor has no problem in there getting in and getting out but uh, you, you stick those wood rollers there and, and it just doesn't work so hence that's why I have this trailer so let's take a look and I'll show you how I positioned it under there see it's just a mess back here what I did is I just uh, hooked a chain there and used the come along and I marked the center which is this is a 40 foot shipping container the center is uh, right at 20 feet so it's off just let me, let me step back here I'm trying to trip over all this stuff here it's just a little back from the center I guess it could go a little farther back as long as I keep that back out off the ground I can pull this thing and I've got it, I gotta go about, I don't know, 80 or 100 yards to put it where I wanna put it. So, okay, well, let me, uh, let me get to it.
right, well, you saw it first here. Uh, it's the only um, shipping container trailer mover that I know of on the internet or anywhere that's made out of mobile home stuff. So, all right, guys, well, I still got some stuff to clean out. And I, I didn't want to clean it out because I didn't know how <laughs> successful it was going to be. So, all right, well, there we go. I just need to pull it just a little further. I've got that mess right there, that trailer with all that junk on it that's got to go. Container's going to be sitting right there. So, all right, guys, well, that's how you move a shipping container. Well, that's how I do it anyway. I forgot to uh, tell you I'll put some C-clamps on here. Those are the only two I had big enough to do the job. I would have ideally liked to have done it in all four corners, but uh, I did it on the front too, because this thing could have slid right off of the trailer. So, okay, I just want to add that in there. Okay, well, I guess we'll do the upper log here. That's where the container was sitting. I used the wood poles to try and move it over here and it did slide over but it would not pull forward because it was catching on the ground and you can see the how far it sank down and that's a mulch I tried to put in here so okay guys well this is the aftermath let's uh, look at this Looks like I need to put the thing a little farther back. It's, of course, it's got a few things in it. It's not exactly exactly empty, but it's a little back, a little back to center. I guess I could have would have been better off just to center it properly. But okay, guys. Well, let's take a look at this side. All right, well, that's my whole main trailer with about 7,200 pounds on it. Homestead Prepper out.